What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing an off-meta Ice Rider Calyrex team that features Stamina Mudsdale alongside with Life Orb Gudra. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. But before we get into today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Mosiah for actually leaving this team for me in my Instagram DMs. Yo, Mosiah, shout out to you. Cannot wait to get after this team. It looks creative, looks off-meta, and looks strong at the same time. But starting off in that top left corner we have the one and only ice rider calyrex one of the best pokemons to be used in a trick room this thing has as one ability alongside with the weakness policy as an item if we could proc that and get this pokemon in trick room it has the capability to just sweep teams left and right we got glacial lance high horsepower heavy slam and close combat for the move set right next to him is going to be mudsdale one of my favorite pokemons from this generation i absolutely not from this generation but to be used on the rank ladder because back in like i guess like series two or three when it was really really early i used to use mudsdale all the time and i had tons of fun using it and i went on a crazy win streak with him so absolutely love this pokemon we got stamina as its ability assault best to soak up some special attacking shots and then we got high horsepower for stab heavy slam close combat and rock slide for the move set Middle left is going to be our support mod. That is going to be Grimmsnarl over here. We have Fake Out for flinch control. We have Reflect and Light Screen to set up screens, protect our ally Pokemon, and Spirit Break for our stand move, plus a special attack drop on that as well. We have the Prankster ability, obviously, and then the Eject button as his item because, you know, I can use him to set up Trick Room by faking out and having a Trick Room user come in here, and then somebody can hit me with the Eject button. Then I can get out my Trick Room mods such as Calyrex or Mudsdale to come in that battle at the perfect time. Right next to him, it's going to be Mimikyu, one of our two Pokemon that can set up Trick Room. We got Disguise, we got that Mental Herb so we can't be taunted. We got Shadow Sneak to actually proc policy on our Calyrex or just use that as first turn priority. Then we got Play Rough for Stab, Woodhammer for Coverage, and Trick Room, you know, just to set up that Trick Room. Bottom left corner is going to be the best Trick Room setter in all the game, in the whole game. Dust Cops over here with that Evil Light and Frisk, cannot go wrong with it. We got Shadow Punch to proc that weakness policy on our Calyrex. We got Leer for Defensive Drops, Helping Hand, and Trick Room, you know, to set up that Trick Room yet again. Final Pokemon for the squad is going to be Gudra, and I love Gudra. Not just any Gudra, it's going to be Life Orb Gudra. Gudra is just really, really strong, especially in Trick Room alongside with these Pokemon. He can really thrive and do a lot of work. We got Sap Sipper as its ability, and then finally, the moveset is going to be Flamethrower, Draco Meteor, Hydra Pump, and Protect. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this off-meta Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team. First battle coming at you guys for today's video, going up against a pretty cool Zamazeta team that features Thunderous, Latios, Whimsicott, Urshifu, and Metagross. If I had to guess, that's weakness policy Metagross. So definitely gotta watch out for that Pokemon. How should we go into this one? How should we play? I feel like I just want to show off Ice Rider Calyrex in this first battle. So I'm gonna lead Grimmsnarl, try to get screens, try to get a fake out, and then a Trick Room user, it's probably gonna be either Mimikyu or Dusclops. Who should I use? I think Dusclops could do really good here. Actually, Mimikyu might be the play because he might have Taunt on that Whimsicott. So I definitely have to watch out for that. Or I could just fake that out easily and get off that Trick Room. Kind of do dig that. I kind of do dig that. What do I want to do? I mean, Mimikyu is just great. Mimikyu is just great. Let's go go into Mimikyu. I'm going to bring Calyrex in the back end. And then last but not least, do we go Gudra or do we go in with Mudsdale? What is my call here? I kind of like a Mudsdale. I'm going to rock out with Mudsdale. I love this Pokemon so, so much. Cannot wait to use it. Let's lock in Mudsdale here. Lock in our four and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But guys, let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below. What are your guys' overall thoughts on the brand new Pokemon or Pokemon Legends Arceus trailer? It came out with like a six-minute trailer showcasing like a bunch of the lands, a bunch of different things. And I thought it looked incredible. I thought it looked really cool. Definitely let me know your guys' response in the comment section down below. But let's see who this guy leads. He goes in with the Wimscott alongside with Metagross. So we are just going to be able to pop a free trick room here. We're going to be able to instantly get off Trick Room, which I absolutely love. So Trick Room's going to pop here. We're just going to fake out onto the Whimscott just so we can't taunt or anything. Maybe proc policy, right? So we're just going to fake this thing out, and we're going to get rolling from there. We are going to get rolling from here. Trick Room is going to come out here. Because he can't kill me, right? No, he has no way of stopping this Trick Room from coming out here. We have Disguise, so it's going to take at least two hits to kill us. And his Whimscott's going to be faked out. So it's just light work. It is just light work. And none of these Pokemon do learn Trick Room, so he can't counter us. He cannot counter us. We're going to fake out here. Mwah. No clap. Make this thing flinch. And we'll see what this guy actually does. And is that thing a Jack button? It is a Jack button. That's pretty cool. So that thing is going to be a Jack button. He's going to be able to swap out for free. I'm digging that all day. I'm digging that all day. And I'm kind of hoping he hits my Grimstone here with like a Meteor Mash or something. Let's just see what he does. Because if we can get out Ice Rider Calyx here, it could be awesome. It could be awesome. But Metagross is actually going to go next because, you know, Mimikyu goes last. It's popping a Trick Room. And let's see what it does. Meteor Mash, maybe? Yeah, Meteor Mash comes through here. And who are you going after? 
We are going after Mimikyu, and that's that's just this guy's gonna eat that up. But we're thriving here. I can set up some screens. We can kind of get rolling from there. And Trick Room is out. Trick Room is out. We came to play today. We came to play. So Trick Room's here. Um, hmm, what is my play here? What is my player? Because he's going to take me out here. He's definitely going to take me out here. And I need my Mimikyu to actually proc my policy. I'm going to set up a reflect. You do have a lot of physical attackers here. And I could stay in here and just shadow sneak and try to get after it. But what should I do? I could hard swap. I could bring in Mudsdale here. Mudsdale could be pretty solid here with high horsepower. Could really roll out here. But I think we just let our Mimikyu go down here. And we kind of just go from there. I'm with it all day. Let's do it. Let's go into a shadow sneak here. We'll keep our Grimstar out here just to set up screens. And we'll let our Mimikyu go down. We will not worry about setting up our weakness policy. It's not a big deal. Because once Ice Rider Calyx comes out in here, I feel like we can just like do a lot of work onto these Pokemon. So Shadow Sneak's going to chip away some damage. And I'm guessing this thing's just using another Meteor Mash, right? That's weakness policy, like I said. I probably should have thought about that. Because I said that for in the beginning. I'm like, we're going to have to watch out for that. Meteor Mash is going to fly through here. And who are you taking out here? He's going to take out the Mimikyu all day. Mimikyu is down for the count. I think he was dying regardless of that weakness policy or not. And this thing does get yet another attack boost. I think what's what might go down here as well. I think Grimstar is going to go down here as well. This Behemoth Bash. Let's see. We do have Reflect, so maybe we could soak this up. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. All day, Grimstar. I'll eat it up. Good work. Good work. Actually, I did not know if he died or not because the way the animation worked, it kind of like covered up the HP bar. So it was a little weird. But Eject Button's going to poke here, and I'm kind of with that because now we get out two great attackers in the Trick Room, Calyrex and Mudsdale. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I could drop a high horsepower. I could, uh, I'm obviously going to Dynamax that, uh, this Calyrex, obviously. I think I might just max Quake into the, the Metagross. Kind of just get effort that way. But we're definitely Dynamaxing the Calyrex. We'll, we'll have Grimstar on the back end, which is actually really good because you can come back out here for another fake out. I do dig it. I do dig it. The two, the double horse combo is coming out here. The double horse. Can't go wrong with it. We're going to Dynamax here. And do I go for a straight knuckle? I could knuckle, but high horsepower is not bad here. Hmm. They have high horsepower, which is stab on my uh on my Mudsdale. Let me see these thing stats. Let me see this thing stats. So if I go in here, its attack is boosted. That is 194 attack. This thing obviously has higher attack, but I gotta remember it's stab with the Mudsdale. So I'm thinking of just Dynamax it and maybe just chopping a knuckle could be good. Giving us an attack boost. And by giving him an attack boost, we could just go into a high horsepower here. And I think we can take out Metagross with this. I'm kind of with this all day. I'm with this all day. Let's see how he plays this one. Let's just see how he plays this one. But I think a plus one high horsepower should be able to take out. And I think Calyrex is slower than Mudsdale. I probably should check the speed just to make sure this could work out here. But if Calyrex is slower, we'll get that attack boost. Mudsdale will go next. Be able to just dump on that Metagross. And we'll be simply thriving here. I know he still has Dynamax. But like I said, we have the Trick Room. We're thriving with speed. We're starting to get attack boost. All that good stuff. And he's going to end up Dynamaxing as well. So actually, it's pretty tough now. This is pretty tough now. Because I think he can one tap my uh, Calyrex. I think he one tap my Calyrex with a Steel Spike. Uh-oh. We're in trouble, guys. We are in trouble. We are in trouble. I was not expecting him to go to the, for that Dynamax, which he actually does, which is a great play by him. Should double down into him. Double down would have been the call here. Wide Guard's going to come out here. What do you think we're going for? Like an EQ? Wide Guard's going to do nothing. Wide Guard is going to do nothing. High Horsepower actually comes out first, which is nuts. Which is nuts. And we are not sitting in a good spot. Max Knuckle is going to fly through here. We are going to get attack boost. And can my boy eat this up? I don't think we're eating up anything. I don't think we're eating up anything here. I think he's just going to steal spike into my Calyrex. And that's going to be GG's, right? If he doesn't, we, we got this win in the bag. If he does not, we have this win easily in the bag. There's the steal spike. E! Soak this up, Calyrex. He's not. He's dead. He soaks up. Dude, this thing's a unit. This thing is an absolute unit for no reason. He's a unit for no reason. For no reason, this thing's an absolute unit. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Proc in our policy. We're sitting in the driver's seat now. How do you eat up a plus three max steel spike from a Metagross? Just unheard of. Just unheard of. Max Quake should be able to come out here and KO, right? I think it should, right? Hmm. Right, this should be able to pick up the KO. I'm thinking it should be able to pick up the KO. We're just gonna rock out with high horsepower. Finish off this Metagross. I like where we're sitting. We have like two more turns left in Trick Room. And he does not guard. He does not guard. Metagross is gonna drop out here. We're thriving here. This should 100% be able to pick up the KO on Zamzetta. And then we have one more turn left in Trick Room alongside with one more turn left in Dynamax. And we still have a Grimstar on the back. Oh my god. I can't believe he ate that up. I can't believe he ate that up. This thing is just insanely strong. That was plus three. It was weakness policy. Plus he had the Meteor Mash boost from attack. So he was plus three. This is insane. Insane. Actually, he was plus two because I think Meteor Mash is special attacking. 
So that does kind of make a little bit more sense that he ate it up. But Chili Nation come out here. We are sitting here plus four. Plus four with Calyrex. And I think, like I said, one more turn left in Trick Room. I believe so. I believe we have one more turn, one turn left in Trick Room, and he has two more Pokemon left. So this could be good for us. He does have Whimsicott, which I'm not really worried about Whimsicott. Urshifu's going to come out here, and does Urshifu have first turn priority? It might. It might have first turn priority, right? It's Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch kind of scaring me. Sucker Punch is definitely scaring me. I'm not even going to lie. Sucker Punch is scaring me a lot. Hmm. Do I go for the Hailstorm here? Or do I just guard? What's my play? What is my play? What is my play? I think this thing might be Rocket Sucker Punch. I definitely want to go into this. And I kind of just want to go into... I could Heavy Slam. Hmm. I could just high... I'm going to high horsepower Nurse Fu. Is this thing going to go for a Sucker Punch? What's it going to do? I'm going to go for a Switch of Rue here. So it's switching items with me. I mean, Whimsicott doesn't have any items. So he's going to take my Assault Vest. You son of a biscuit. And this thing does not go for Sucker Punch. So high horsepower is going to poke here. Bring this thing down red. And then help Max Hail going to come out here. That's GG's. That's GG's. Whimsicott goes down here. We have Fake Out in the back. Uh, Buffets are just going to start flying through. It's over with. It is over with. Your boy's going to pick up a win here in battle number one. Was definitely looking scary because, like I said, if Metagross was going to KO my Calyrex, it was GG's. It was GG's. But, you know, Calyrex tanked that one up all day. That was plus five. It's just over with. Like I said in the beginning, if, if we get this thing in on Trick Room, it just, just has the highest sweep capability ever. It can just sweep left and right. He's going to go for certain strikes, and I think we eat. Yeah, we're going to be able to eat up certain strikes all day. All day. All dang day. Trick Room's gone, but he has no double hitting move, so. It's either he takes out my Calyrex or he takes out my Mudsdale. Or he takes out my Mudsdale, but Buffets are flying through here. We have Fake Out in the back. Three turns of Buffets. Instant win. Instant win. Even though we're just going to double down into him and we win this match anyway. But this guy's definitely going to cancel here. We're going to start off 1-0. and oh. That's lovely. That's lovely. We're going to go for close combat. And then High Horsepower has a chance of missing, so I'd rather just go for close combat at this point. Just secure the win and play a little bit smarter. He does not end up canceling. He's going to go for certain strikes. And is that over into Mudsdale? I feel like it is, right? No, it's into Calyrex. I want to see if Mudsdale could eat it up, but he takes out my Calyrex. Finally, it's all good. The other horse is coming in for that clutch KO. Get him with that close combat, baby. All day, Mudsdale. Dude, I love Mudsdale. He's so sick. He is so sick. But there it is. GG's 1-0 to get this video started. Easy wins with Ice Rider Calyrex in the Trick Room. Let's hop into our second battle and look to grab ourselves another win. I want to get Gudra out here. I want to showcase Gudra because I just love his Pokemon a lot. I think Gudra's a lot of fun to use. Same thing with Mudsdale. I think we're going to be bringing both of them. But this guy has a pretty cool team. He has Zekrom, Incineroar, Comfy, Mamoswine. Got to watch out for Mamoswine. Really, really strong. And it has a great first turn priority move with Ice Shard. And then he has Urshfu alongside with Thunderous. So I definitely want to bring Mudsdale here, but... Who do I want to set up Trick Room with? I definitely want to go Grimstar. We're going to go Grimstar. We're going to set Trick Room yet again. And then we're going to bring Gudra. And maybe not even bring Mudsdale. But who do I want to set Trick Room with? Could be Dusclops. I kind of like setting Trick Room with Dusclops. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to bring Calyrex again, obviously. And then Gudra. I say we just keep Mudsdale in the back end here. I say we keep Mudsdale in the back. But, ooh. Or I could bring Mudsdale over Gudra. Because that Mammoth Swine is definitely scary. And he does have Zekrom as well. Hmm. My play here. What is my play? I mean, Mudsdale is also super effective to the Mammoth Swine, so it's just, like, kind of tough. It's kind of tough. But I'm going to end up locking in this squad. Like I said, I want to use Gudra. Gudra is just such a cool uh, pseudo-legendary. And I feel like it is probably more so on the underrated side of pseudo-legendaries because a lot of them are, to be honest, cooler than him. They are a lot cooler than him. But a Pokemon that I haven't used in a while that I absolutely love is Duraludon. I haven't used that in, like, a couple seasons, actually, in this game. And Duraludon used to be one of my favorite Pokemon to actually use on the ranked double ladder. So, if you guys have a Duraludon team, make sure you guys get it. I would love to use it. I would love to use Duraludon again. But this guy goes into Comfy alongside with Zekrom, and he can proc policy, right? He can definitely proc policy. So, we're just going to fake out. Do we fake out the Comfy or the Zekrom? So, I can see Zekrom Dynamax, and I say we just fake out the Comfy here. We give that Comfy a little fake out here. We know it has a Berry Berry, and it is weakness policy. So, look at that. Yo. I don't even need Frisk. I don't even need Frisk. I just know what's happening here. So, we're going to go here, and I'm just going to pop this little trick room. I'm gonna pop this lovely little trick room. Let's get rolling with that. All right, he's got a Dynamax here. He's got to Dynamax and try to get after my Dust Cop. But Dust Cop should be able to soak up whatever he has. Okay, he protects. That's a that's a great turn by us. He's gonna protect the Pokemon there. He protects Zekrom. We're not even touching it. We get off a free trick room. Lovely. Unless he's popping trick room. Unless he's popping trick room. That could be scary. He could definitely pop trick room. So I'm just gonna keep in my Grimstone over here and just set up some screens. I'll set up a Reflect right here. Get after it this way. And Duskops can just, uh, 
We leer? I'd say we just Shadow Punch. I'd just say we start teeing off on this Confi, seeing how much damage we can do. Even though I do not think it's going to do any damage. The Dust Cop's kind of here. Just get the Calyrex in there, proc policy. And, you know, leer up and do work from there. He's just going to withdraw Zekrom. Okay. I'm with it. And Incineroar's going to come out here. I think we're setting up this Reflect. He does have Fake Out ready to roll. And I wonder if Confi has Trick Room to counter Trick Room. We'll see how this one plays out. It might not. I'm hoping maybe, like, just, like, Confi hits up on my Grimstar because I want him to eject butt now. I want to get out either Gudra or Ice Rider Calyrex here. Set a punch flying. And, yeah, that's not even worth using. And Confi does have Trick Room. You buttery biscuit, Confi. You buttery biscuit. Okay, so he has Fake Out ready to roll. Um, I could Light Screen. But, honestly, I just think he, uh... I just think he, uh... He Trick Rooms here. I'm waiting for him to hit up on my Grimstar. Let's see what he does here. We're going to try to pop another Trick Room. We're trying to pop another Trick Room. This thing's going to go for Draining Kiss. That's totally fine. So we can get Trick Room here and we can finish off Confi. No problem. We can finish off Confi. No problem. Let's say Ally switches. The Trick Room's going to pop here. I think he's going to maybe pop a Darkest Lariat. Or he might party shot out. Let's see what he's going to do here. Let's see what he's going to do. But we're going to bring in Calyrex here. All right? Is Calyrex your play? Yeah, because we can Steel Spike straight across. Hmm. Yeah, we'll save Gujar for the back end. We're going back into Calyrex. I'm telling you guys, this Pokemon is the best Trick Room Pokemon. Just rips through anything. Just rips through anything. We're going to get him out here. We're going to have Trick Room rolling. And what's he going for here? If he goes for a fire move, I'm going to cry a little bit. But we could soak that up considering we do have a Reflect. And that could proc weak this policy. He goes for the parting shot. No! What you mean? It's all good, actually. It's actually totally fine. This, we are going to go down minus one. But I'm proccing policy here. And I'm taking out that Confi, no problem. Taking out that Confi, no problem. It's exactly what we're doing. But something that cracks me up with Calyrex is look at its legs on the back of the horse. It has like little stick legs and it's just hilarious. Like look at its legs. <laughs> little white sticks just coming off the side of them. It's hilarious. You gotta love it. But Trick Room's poking here. Um, I think he procs policy on Zekrom and we're both gonna Dynamax. But in the, actually he's probably gonna stay still. Actually, I could just go for Glacial Lancer. I do like this. He could swap back into uh could swap back into into Incineroar, which I could definitely say happened. So I'm not going to Dynamax my guy. I'm actually not going to Dynamax him. I'll save my Dynamax for Gujar. I'm just going to leer around here and use Glacial Lances. Probably my play. Here comes a withdrawal on the coffee. He's going back into Incineroar, right? And he's going to protect Zekrom. Okay, that's a fine turn. That's a fine turn. So I can start leering. I can kind of get after Pokemon that way. But this guy's just playing the slow game. This is going to be a good battle. This is going to be a good battle number two. You're protecting Zekrom? No, he's Dynamaxing Zekrom. He is Dynamaxing Zekrom. Okay. That's fine. So we're minus two right now. Due to the parting shots. Due to all that stuff. We are minus two. But after policy proc, we're going to be back to even. And hopefully we can just do some good damage off the Zekrom. I don't see us killing him, but I see us doing some good damage on them. Got a punch going to come through here. Yo, we proc a policy. Look how little damage that does. Oh my god, that's lovely. That's one of the best proc and policy moves I, I have ever used. Mosai, good work on that one. Glacial Lance gonna come out here. Yo, that's some big old damage on the Zekrom. God, I love it. Big damage on the Zekrom. Um, what's that player? We do proc policy, so Calyrex is definitely dead here. He's definitely dead, and at this point, I kind of just bring out... Uh, this is tough, man. It's tough. We're definitely gonna lose this one, I think. Lightning's gonna fly through here. That takes us out, and we're gonna have to bring out uh, Gudra to Dynamax. Gudra is going to get the Dynamax. He does have Dragon Leaf. Ooh, this is tough. Do we read a max card here? I might read a max card here. Bring out Gudra. And then I think he just parting shots on me, right? We are bringing out Gudra. And I could obviously just drop a Dragon Move and finish that thing off with my Life Orb. Or I could go into the Hydro Pump. Or the Water Move. I honestly think he's going to guard here. So in this case, I'm just going to go here. And mm, do I leer? I could helping hand. <laughs> There's really no good player. There's really no good player. I could swap into my Grimstar. What's my play? But again, I think he's going to guard. I think he does guard. Knowing that we outspeed him and maybe he wants a party shot. What do I do with Duskops? Like Duskops kind of here and he's he doesn't really do anything. I guess we'll helping hand. Make sure we pick up his KO. That's going to be my play. I'm going to, I'm predicting the guard. That's 100% what I'm doing. I'm predicting the max guard here, and I'm going to try to take out this instant. Like, if there, if we can make this play, we can pretty much solidify this battle, because then I can just go into a, uh, 
a hailstorm next turn or not a hailstorm just my dragon move next turn and take him out unless he's rocking ally switch with comfy which i can see happening i can definitely see happening but we'll see what he does please max guard show me the guard you're guarding aren't you you're guarding he is not guarding god dang it yo i think we're dead i think we lost one we should have just dropped the dragon move he does guard okay helping hand just came out beforehand okay awesome great call by your boy jeans we guys are into instant run. that's huge KO. that's huge KO. now the real now the real problem here is he's gonna bring out comfy i think and with him bringing out comfy he is either going to go into a uh a floral healing or an ally switch and i don't know what our call is here i don't know what our call is here because this can make or break us it could honestly make or break us so we read the guard i could honestly guard here now too and, and waste his last item next turn which i think i'm gonna do depending on how many turns i have left in trick room hmm and i can get a feel for what moves he's gonna use could definitely get a feel for what moves he's gonna use but we'd have a great swap there and he's gonna go into mammoth swap that's totally fine because we can eat up whatever he wants to use. I'm going to go into here and I'm just going to do a helping hand. I don't think I helping hand because I think it's KOs regardless. Actually, we are going to help him. Actually, no, we're going to shadow punch here and take off. Uh, we're going to take off focus sash because I can see Mammoth Swine rocking the sash. I'm going to withdraw the Zekrom and that's a great call. Great call by him. I got to give that to him. That's a 100% great call. He's going to swap into the copy and waste a turn with me. So both of us making some good moves. Give this dude a round of applause here. Give this dude a round of applause. Great move from him. Let's see how this one plays out. Mammoth Swine's going to go for probably an ISO crash here, right? Mormon's going to come out here. Great. Great play by him. And ISO crash going to pop. How much damage is that doing? Oh my god, yo. Gujra's a tank. Gujra's an absolute tank. Oh, we did have Reflect, which is great. So Reflect wears off. We have another turn. I could go into a Flare, but it is raining. So in this case, I'm just going to go after his Mammoth Swine. Try to finish that thing off. And... I don't even know what to do. I guess I'll Shadow Punch. I don't know what to do. Like, dude, this... This Duskops really doesn't thrive without the Calyrex. <laughs> and I think I could hard swap this turn. But now I'm going to keep my Duskops out here just for sheer fact is we can, uh... I mean, I could help again. My Alice, which I'll just help again. But I have to keep the Duskops out here because Trick Room does end next turn. The helping Hand coming out here. Let's see what Comfy's doing. Alice Switch, maybe? Comfy Protect. Oh, my God. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. He's making reads that are just not happening. Making reads that are just not happening. Guys, just gonna fly out here. Mammoth Swine, get on out my game. Yo, we don't want you. We do not want you. Yo, Gujra was a great call to keep in this back end and to Dynamax. Great call by me. Even though Calyrex went down and it was looking tough after that, we made a great read on the Max Guard and went after it that way. So I can protect Gujra from here if I want to, which might have to be my play. And yeah, protect Gujra and go into a Trick Room. Or honestly, I could make this call. I can make an amazing call right here. Do I make one of the best reads ever? By protecting Gudra, not even going in the trick room here, and having his comfy set trick room. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to shadow punch into comfy here. And I'm not going to lie. I'm protecting my Gudra, and I'm going to say that he sets trick room to try to counter my trick room, and we're not touching it. We're not chucking, touching Trick Room. So we're going to have him set up Trick Room. That's going to be my play. No, we floral. He, God dang it, Jeans. You're so much better than that. You were so much better than that. Try making the hard read. That's a tough play by me. I should have had this one. Uh, I got to swap Gudra now. He goes for Draco Meter. We block. I'm going to swap into my Fairy Pokemon. And I'm going to set up Trick Room here. Shadow Punch going to fly out here. Mm, it's tough news. Tough, tough news. Okay. Let's roll. Let's do it. Now let's go for Trick Room. Now let's go for Trick Room, swap in the Gudra, get out Grimmsnarl, hopefully goes for another uh, Dragon move, we are Fairy, and we're going to set up this Trick Room. Great battle here, great battle here, but I tried making the hard read when I should have just made a simple play uh, last turn, because if I set up Trick Room there, it's pretty much GG's, but we'll see how this one plays out. Granny Kiss can come through here, that's fine, we can soak that up all day. And is he going for a Draco Meteor as well? I'm curious, I'm curious, we have Fake Out ready to roll here, I'm just going to Fake Out the Comfy, and what do I do next turn? Trick Meter comes out. It's lovely. Trick Room popping. So we fake out Comfy. We try to let this Zekrom maybe take me out. Lane's gone. I need a swap. I need a big old swap. I could swap the Comfy. I could swap the Comfy. Or not the Comfy. I'm going to swap into the Gujra here. Hmm, this is so tough. This is so tough. Do I swap him here? I mean, I could Leer exactly what i'm gonna do i'm gonna leer drop defense so grimstone can maybe take out comfy or zekrom next turn 
This is tough. Let's see how this one plays out here. He's just gonna protect Zekrom. That's fine. We're faking out the compy anyway. Dude, this is coming out to the wire here. You guys are getting your money's worth. Even though you guys don't pay to watch me, but <laughs> you guys are getting your money's worth for this video. This is a great battle. Win or lose, yo. This is just a good battle all around. Compy's gonna get that defense drop. I, I really want it on that Zekrom more so. I could set up a Reflect here, which might have to be my player. Reflect's gonna come out here. And just Shadow Punch, you know? Did I pop a Trick Room? Because I think he might counter Trick Room here. But you know what? Instead of setting up a Reflect, I think we just go straight into a Spirit Break. No, because he's going to take me out. I'm going to set up this Reflect. Help out the squad, man. Actually, he's he's special attacking. He's been using Draco Meter, so Reflect's not going to do anything. We're just going to set up the Light Screen instead. Lovely Light Screen coming out here. And I'm going to Leer. Right, Leer. Yeah, just in, just in case we can get we can get another turn out with a uh, Grimmsnarl, it could be good. Draining case can come through here. We can soak that up. He's not gonna trick him. I'm, I I I was gonna play trick him just to try to counter him, but it's just not happening. Let's see what he does from here. Light Screen's gonna get poking. He does have first turn priority ready to roll. I do have my Gujra in the back. Gujra can work wonders. I'm kind of scared of that Confi. That Confi can really do work on me. Defense is dropping here. Shadow Punch will do more damage because of that. And Earth Power's gonna fly here. And who are you going after? He's gonna take out Grimstone. Okay. This is where the battle really gets after it. Do we think Zekrom's protecting? That's our one call. Because if we read this protect, we could win this battle. I could just simply drop a Draco Meteor in him. But I honestly think like Draining Kiss is gonna come out here or he's gonna protect. I do think he protects. I'm going to go for straight Hydro Pump. I'm going to help him hand Hydro Pump in the comfy and say Zekrom protects. Show it to me, baby. It's tough. We just lost. We should drink a meter in, the, in the Zekrom here. Oh, no, he does protect. Why is helping hand coming out before protect? Why is it doing this? I'm not used to that. Great read on the protect. We should be able to eat up a draining kiss, right? Yeah, good. Oh, he can eat up plenty of them. He can eat up plenty of them. Helping hand comes out here. And we miss our Hydro Pump. Oh my lord. Alright, now I'm a Draco Median. We're gonna take you out. We're gonna say bye bye to you. And ugh, dude. I'm just gonna have to keep leering on this comfy and have Shadow Punch do work. It's coming down. It is coming down to the wire here. Drain the kiss gonna pop out here again. We eat that up all day though. We eat that up all day. And we need this Draco Meteor to connect to take out the Zekrom. We need Draco Meteor to pop, take out the Zekrom. We're just gonna keep leering down this comfy just in case it comes to a 1v1. Maybe our Shadow Punch can start doing enough damage with the defense drops. But Jericho Meteor is going to pop here. That should say bye-bye to Zekrom with that life orb. All day, right? Get this thing out of my face. Kill him. Yes, sir. Okay, Zekrom gone, yo. Dude, this second battle is such a good battle. It is such a good battle. Our special attack drops harshly. We should be able to eat up a dra Draining Kiss. And uh, should I Leer again? I'm going to go for a Flamethrower for sure. Definitely going to go for a Flamethrower for sure. And what's this thing on the defense board? Minus three. Let's see how much a Shadow Punch can do. He could protect you, and I could just Shadow Punch. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Just protect you. Because we know the Draining Kiss is coming out up against it. But I would love to try to hit this thing with a Flamethrower. Shadow Punch fine through here. And what's this thing going for? Shadow Punch is doing a little bit more damage. Any Trick Rooms? And this thing pops a Trick Room. Okay, so I could have Flamethrower there. We'll go for a Flamethrower. And I'm going to just keep... I got to leer this thing down a little bit more. This thing has Draining Kiss. I just have to keep leering this thing down. Draining Kiss can come through here, and it is turning into a 1v1 with the Dust Clops. My Gudra eats. I love you, Gudra. Can you get a burn on this thing? Can you please get a burn on the Confi? Just help me out a little bit here. Because Gudra's going to go down in life for damage. We're leering this thing. We're just trying to drop his defense as much as we can, just so Shadow Punches can do more and more damage. Flame Thrower comes out here. Come on. Give me a burn and do some nice damage. Give me a burn. Give me a burn. Give me a burn. No burn. <laughs> no burn coming out here. Light screen wears off, and it's coming down to a 1v1. So, I think we just leer him again. Let's keep leering this thing down. Straight up leering this thing down. And I don't think Trick Room really mattered there. I don't think Trick Room really mattered. Let's see how much damage this Draining Kiss is going to do. Ho, ho, ho. Jeans is looking good. Jeans is looking good here. I was talking all that work on Dust Cops. Like, oh, dude, Dust Cops really stinking it up without Calyrex. But, yo, he's looking like he's going to clutch it up. Get my Dust Cops out here. We'll leer again, dude. I'll leer all day. I'll leer all day. We're dropping this thing's defense just so Dust Cops can do a little bit of damage. But Draining Kiss is its only hitting move. And if we're soaking up like that, come on, yo. We should have this one in the bag. 
So it gets like three HP back. The leers are just poking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Defense drop all day. Imagine this thing has like mist <laughs> or like something like that. I think what you mean? We're minus two on. Oh, we're minus two on attack. Oh, that's so ugly. I totally forgot we are minus two on physical attack. The so shadow punch is minus two, but he's minus six on defense. I love it. Draining is coming out here. How much damage is the shadow punch going to come down to you? This is a battle for the ages, guys. A battle for the ages. Let's make it happen. Shadow punch poking. Yo, yo. Yes, sir, Dust Cops. Getting after it, baby. Loving it. Loving it, Dust Cops. He has no way of healing because floral healing can't heal itself. Yo, I think Dust Cops going to clutch up here. I think Dust Cops is clutching up. How many times have you guys seen a Dust Cops clutch? Might be the first time. Might be the first time you guys ever seen a Dust Cops clutch. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Just for a Dust Cops clutch. Come on, man. You're not going to get Dust Cops clutches on any other Pokemon channel. You're not going to get it. You're just not going to get it. Just not going to get it. But dude, this has been a long battle. Shadow Punch coming out here. Should One more Shadow Punch should be able to do the job. Oh, yes, sir. Yo, Dust Clops clutch, baby. All day. All day. Give me the money. Cancel this battle. He does not cancel. He's staying in with Confi. That's GG's. That is GG's. The Leer to minus six into Shadow Punches works out perfectly. We make some great reads actually bring us back in the game. Reading multiple protects this game. And we made a few bad plays by not reading certain things. And this guy gets, of course, a free focus ash. But it's all good. Cancel the battle, dude. Cancel the battle. I think he's trying to get like a crit or something. He gets a crit of KOs me. What you mean? <laughs> but now nah, we soak up all day. It's light work. It's light work. Last Shadow Punch is going to fly through here. We clutch it up. We go 2-0. Oh. Let's hop to our third and grab ourselves that perfect record. The final test for this team is here. We're sitting at 2-0 and, oh, and we're going up against a Kyogre team for our perfect record. He also has Swift Swim, Ludicolo, Galarian, Moltres, Grimmsnarl, Garchomp, and Kartana. Okay, how should I play this one? How should I go into this? We pretty much showcase everybody on this team already, so we can really go into whoever we want. Grimstone is just such a great lead with the fake outs and the screens, so I definitely want to lead him up here. I think I'm going to pop Trick Room with Mimikyu and roll out from there. Right, it's just such a good call. It's just such a good call. So we're going to go in with them too. Pop that. I am going to bring in Calyrex, and I don't know if we want Mudsdale here. Do we want Mudsdale? Hmm. Do we want Mudsdale? The rain is definitely scaring me. Do we want Mudsdale? I kind of want Mudsdale just because I like Mudsdale. Like, Gudra's okay here, but I want Mudsdale. I like Mudsdale a lot better than Gudra. Actually, not a lot better, but I just like using Mudsdale. So I'm going to use Mudsdale. You guys know, most of the time when we have a winning record, I don't really care if we win or lose in third battle. I'm just looking to have fun, bring you guys some good commentary, all that good stuff. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to bring our boy Mudsdale in here and look to grab ourselves that perfect record. But I think he might just lead the uh, rain squad. And if he does, we're just going to pop Trick Room Fake out and kind of just get after it that way. So let's see, Garchomp and Moltres come out here. I think he thinks I'm leading the, uh, the, what's it called? The Dust Cop. So that's why I went to Moltres. So he might Dynamax the Moltres. And in this case, you know, I'm just going to fake out onto the Garchomp. I'm going to pop a lovely Trick Room. A lovely, lovely Trick Room. All right, yeah, Trick Room's definitely going to play. Let's do it. Let's poke it. Fake out Trick Room. Dude, this combo is too, it's too easy to set up Trick Room with these guys. With a Mental Herb Mimikyu and a Fake Out user. It's almost impossible to kind of counteract that unless you have another Pokemon who uses Trick Room. And in that case, it's still very hard to kind of counter Trick Room because you're wasting a turn countering Trick Room instead of attacking the Pokemon. So it's like the next turn, he's probably just going to pop another Trick Room. So it's kind of tough. It's really tough to actually counter up on this. I feel like the only way would be like in prison, right? And you don't really see much of in prison Trick Room anymore. You used to see it back in like the earlier seasons. But Garchomp does have rough skin. That's totally fine. Hopefully he hits up on my... uh. Oh, he is going to hit up. That's awesome. He's going to hit up onto my uh, my Grimmsnarl. It's going to be not very effective, but more importantly, he's going to trigger that eject button. So we get this, guys. I do want to bring out, like, obviously, I could sweep right now. Do I sweep? Yeah, let's sweep it. Let's sweep it for this victory. I was going to say, I, I obviously could bring out Cal Calyrex, but I'm going to bring out uh, Mudsdale. But I, I can just sweep. I can instantly sweep right now. Right? I can instantly sweep this. 100%. 100%. I can instantly sweep this battle. Shadow Sneak. Proc Policy. Charge Drop and Ice Moves. Like, what other Pokemon does he have that he's going to go into? Kyogre. Actually, you know what? We're just going to drop Gla Glacial Lance here. I'll Shadow Sneak and, and drop Glacial Lance all day. There's no need to Dynamax. We might just save our Dynamax. There's no need to. There's no need to, uh, to Dynamax here. 
I can just Glacial Lance and save my Dynamax for my uh, Mud Sail in the back. Or if I want to use it on Crimson Arrow, I can use it on Crimson Arrow. He's going to end up Dynamaxing. I think this is an awful play by him. Hopefully, it's Cigar Chomp. Because if it's Cigar Chomp, it's four times super effective. And we know we can take him out Dynamax. I don't know if we're going to be able to take out the Bird. It is the Bird Dynamax, but I don't know if we can take out the Bird. We'll see. Because the Bird's going to get a huge HP chunk. But we are going to be plus two. It's going to be Stab. It's going to be super effective. Let's see how this one plays out. Is he going to Protect Chomp, maybe? Let's see. Let's protect the chomp. Chomp gets to protect. Ends up Dynamax and a bird. Shadow Sneak poking here. Doing a nice little little chunk of damage there. But more importantly, we're using it to practice the policy. And if we can take out the bird here, it is over. It is over with. Glacial Lance can come in here. Come on, yo. Take out the bird. Let him know. Let the bird know. Let him know that you're the main man. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Get this thing out of my face. This one's gonna be easy. This is an easy easy clean battle here like i said this, this one's gonna be light but dude i even said this in the beginning like trick room caldex is op man especially when i was looking at this team that mosiah sent again shout out to you mosiah this team is phenomenal i was sitting here i was just like dude this team is ridiculously strong i'm just gonna be able to run teams like this we're going to do glacial ants which is exactly what i'm going to do again and i'm just going to double down into kartana here i'm just going to shadow sneak into kartana gonna shadow sneak garchomp's gonna double protect he's gonna end up landing it he's gonna end up landing it and we might not even use our dynamax here might not even use our dynamax because i think this glacial lance actually picks up a ko and what are we plus three now right we're plus three because we're getting that chilling nade boost <laughs> this is over with <laughs> this is ggs man glacial lance flying there get out my face dude get out my face this is the most broken trick room team i've ever used it's just ridiculously strong like I use some meta Calyrex teams, and I always do better with off meta teams. I don't know why. I always do better with off meta teams. But like I was saying, I use meta Calyrex teams before, and I never dominate as much as I do with this team right here. So he has Kyrie here. I could just go into another Glacial Lance, which I might do. Actually, yo, let's wood hammer on that thing. Let's just wood hammer. <laughs> we'll wood hammer on that thing. We'll go for the Glacial Lance that 100% takes out Garchomp. And there's no shot he gets off uh, three protects in a row. He might protect the Kyogre. Let's see. He just cancels the battle. There it is. Clean sweep for that end. We grab ourselves that perfect record. Off meta Calyrex Trick Room team. Insanely strong. I'm telling you guys, rent this team. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Rent it up and get some high ranks in that master. This team is insanely strong. We dumped on Pokemon left and right with the Calyrex. We set Trick Room up super, super easily with Dust Cops from Mimikyu. And then we had Pokemon such as Mudsdale and Gudra in the back end just to pick up some KOs and grab ourselves some win. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.